let's study about magnification so this is another beautiful concept of mirror and lens and we need to know completely what is the magnification and what is the magnitude of this magnification will give us an idea so what is the definition of magnification so we know that magnification is the ratio of the length of image and the length of object so now this is very interesting and also this is very uh, i mean interesting also that how to use the magnitude of magnification in case of mathematical problem solving in this chapter because we know we know that there are a lot of uh, mathematical problems in this chapter that we need to solve it so think it first that what about the magnification is we say that it is a ratio of the length of image and the length of object so we can say that length of image that is i or the length of object o so i stands for image and o for object or you can say that the magnification is l prime by l so which is similar i mean it's all about that understanding the concept. Do you really understand that what is M for? It is Li by L O. Another equation we also can use that is M is actually minus V by U. I hope you know the mirror equation of this chapter, which is which is one by V plus. 1 by u is equal 1 by f you you might have thinking like from how, i mean how it's derived i'm coming up with the next video that how it derives i'll definitely upload a tutorial based on the derive of the mirror equations this is known as a mirror equations and from that concept you know that v is the distance of image from the uh, in case of mirror from the pole uh, 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 so we will think about the ima image here and u is the distance of the object here f is the focal length now you think that what is the what is the meaning of it if the value of m is negative it gets negative then we must know that this is real real and inverted inverted if the value of m is plus that it must be virtual virtual plus erect okay if you have any confusions just think about it how i'm thinking of it and what is the meaning of it coming up with the net just just within few minutes and if from these equations we got the value or the magnitude of m either it is equal to 1 either it is less than 1 or it is greater than 1 so if the value of m is greater than 1 then we know that image is larger image is larger if we say that m is less than 1 then we must know that image is smaller comparative to the object so it's smaller even when we got that m is equal to 1 we know this is equal to the object so the image the length of image is the equal to that object so we say this is equal so in this points the magnifications when we think about it we must consider these things completely so now think about it suppose this is a it's a concave mirror and if you can remember that I when I upload a video on the rule of six then you know that when this is f this is c so if an object is in c or the center of curvature then image is formed here also and from that point we know the length of object and the length of image are equal so if it is 4 centimeter 
and if it is 4 cm then what is the value of m or what is the magnitude of m so we know that m is the length of image length of object so you know that both are 4 cm so this is image and this is object so this is 4 and this is 4 so we do 1 so the value of m 1 it means that the image and the object's length are equal but what if what if if that this is f and c if the position of the object is here we know that image will form here and it would be a larger image why when you draw it you'll see the length of image would be larger than the length of object because i drew it in in my rule of six tutorial so if if it is two centimeter if it is 4 cm, it says what? It says that M, the length of image is 4 and the length of object is 2. It means 2. So that the magnification, the magnitude of M is greater than 1. That means the image length is larger than the object comparatively. But when it will be smaller one? If you can't remember this one, that uh, suppose this is C, if this is the subject or object here, the image is formed here. And you know that this is the smaller one. So if it is 4 cm and it would be like 2 cm comparatively, then the value of M would be 2 over 4, which is 0 0.5. That is less than 1. It means the image is smaller. Now you think how it will be, it will help us to understand the value of minus or plus, what about it. So we know that the M is actually minus V by U. So think about it. So if I say the focal distance of this, of this mirror is 10 cm and this is also 10 cm. So we know that here, here f is 10 centimeter here u is the distance of the object so u is 20 centimeter and similarly the v where the image is formed again in the same point then v is also 20 centimeter now think the value of m which is in this equations v by u which is minus 20 by 20 which is minus 1 so this value minus 1 it means that this is a real image and invert why this minus will be used you see that we are counting the distance from the pole to that left side so if you see that image object is formed in that direction that is positive sign also the image is formed in that sign so it's also positive that is why the both magnitude the distance is positive so that the value of m didn't change it's minus one so it means that the image is formed in that side where the object was but if is there any change like that when you got it in case of a convex mirror think about it in case of convex mirror if it is a mirror then we know this is C and this is F so if this is the object then a parallel line of light beam will fall into that and then it will reflect in this way and the another is that similarly from to the center of curvature and then the image will form here so now you see that we are thinking the directions of object from this point in this way which is positive if it is positive then image is formed in this direction which is negative now if we say 
that the object is pressed plus 30 centimeter then image is formed in minus 15 centimeter because in that direction it is positive in this direction it is negative now you think about it that m which is minus v v means this minus so this is minus 15 and this is 30 plus 30 so now if you divide you will get positive 0.5 so this positive means that I am just finding the magnitude of m with the equations of v and u and this positive sign means that this is actually virtual image and erect you see this image is virtual and erect and this image is inverted so whenever you get the value of minus from the equation minus v by u that means this is a real image this is an inverted image but when you'll get m the value is plus it means this is a virtual image and it is erect so it was inverted and real this is virtual and erect because the value of m is plus your value of a is minus and just explain it in a, in a very smaller way and a simple way because I shall explain these things when I shall upload the videos on explaining the mathematical problems. So I hope you understand this is very simple. The length. If you think only the length, then you, you think about the height, the linear image, the linear uh, distance 4 cm, 4 cm, 1, 5 cm, 2 cm, 2.5, whatever. So there is no problem in case of positivity and negativity, but here when we will think about the length then in one direction if it is positive in the other directions when image will form in the other directions of the mirror then it will be definitely positive but when image and object is formed in the same directions from the mirror then the value of m or the magnitude of m will be negative and this negativity means the image is real and inverted. If the magnitude of M is positive, it is virtual and erect. So please consider these things. I'm just giving you a very simple explanations because there are a lot of things that you need to know when you will solve the mathematical problems. And I'm coming up with a mathematical series of problem solving technique and also from next video I'm coming up with the derivations process and we need to know the geometry when we will pr prove it that how it is derived from then we need to know the concept of similar triangle and this is very beautiful concept I'm coming up with it and please let me know your feedback and recommendations after watching my tutorials do you really understand is it helping on your study and how much I can do from my side because I'm trying my level best from my end so things will be much more interactive so take care see you in the next class bye